Well, hello. This is the final boss. This is Fire Station in my heart. Uh, and so, yeah, this is a, to my knowledge, this is a children's book. I probably should just, like, reread the um, email that was sent to me just to make sure that I'm completely grokking this. Because um, it does seem to have some, I mean, this definitely is, is poetic style and meter. Um, the question I do have, though, is that there's kind of different size text. So I don't know if this is another title or if this is all part of, or if this is someone just making, or if this is just, um, you know, kind of making the words a different size and kind of having fun. Not super certain there. Again, with these books, I always, always, always beg the writers, put in your art notes. We, you know, at least as a, as a blind reader going in, I don't know whether this is the title to another poem, which is what I, I don't think it is. I think this is just part of the text because it's in quotes and it's something that's being said. Uh, and it's, you know, it has like a quote coming after it. But again, you know, if you're using half the page, use the other half for art notes. You know, I know we use that for our mobile designs for a lot of our project. Heck, I can even show you kind of some of the examples that, that we put together and just like doing... You know, this is going to sound really cringe, but like doing wireframes of these things can 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 be transformative, right? Uh, in terms of you know, because the goal is, what is the best communication, at least from my point of view, for any of these like things that are going to have art accompaniment that 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 the prose doesn't stand on on its own. What's the the most the most communication you can give? How how close can you get us to the final project? So that when we give thoughts and feedback, we can actually, you know, be, be coming in with, with a good set of context, right? So I'm going to give you an example. Uh, this is in Notion because that's what I use for a lot of the projects I work on. Um, Notion. So this is the PRD for, for a project I'm working on for a video game, right? But like, again, you have kind of like your, your pros, like what's actually being said? What does it all do? Um, you have the uh, the image here, and then down here, you know, even if you don't have the full thing, you kind of I, I at least put in some wireframes to say, hey, this is what the account page would look like. This is kind of what the support us donation page would look like. And I know this is a bit, you know, tacky, and it doesn't like, you know, feel as artsy, you know, like, uh, like you know, like oh man, like I just want to want people to just feel it. But like those types, like you know, like like this is very common in screenplays, right? Like screenplays they do straddle that line of this is a blueprint and an entertaining thing that needs to be readable, right? And so it's the same thing with children's books. This is not the final product. This is a blueprint for a final product. Yes, it still needs to be entertaining and readable, but it also needs to do the work, from my point of view, of communicating what the rest of the scene is going to look like. Um, but... I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, you know, it's I can see some some cool stuff. All right, fire station in my heart. All right, so um, there's a station, there's a fire station inside of me, below my shoulders and above my knee, tucked right next to my little heart, where bright where bright red shiny trucks are parked. So again, interesting image. I like that there's, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do stanza one. We'll do stanza one. Ah, the P one's easier to remember. Paragraph one. So like the main image, cool way, you know, of, you know, uh, making emotions accessible. And I think for a lot of children's books, that's one of the big goals, right? Is to say, hey, kids are, you know, they have the same emotions as adults, but just like half the tools that adults have to actually process them, <laughs> or not even half, like a fraction of the tools, like an eighth, sixteenth, thirty-second, you know. Um, so, so yeah, I think this is a really cool way of of, of breaking it up, thinking about it, um, uh, of you know visualizing the you know the feel you know a feeling of stress or worry, you know. Um, we're by trying hoses are dry and tools are clean. There are ladders, fans, and big machines. The whole station is always prepared 
in case I feel angry, sad, or scared. Um, I mean, I've read a lot of children's books recently. Again, um, the one thing I would encourage, and, and, and obviously, like, there's sort of like, hey, it depends on your goals as a writer, right? For me, a dad who's read so many children's books recently, so many children's books, um, you know, the things that I would be, you know, like, if I was to sit down on a children's book, I, I would be curious about what's a different angle, right? What's something that 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 brings something, you know, because, like, like, you know, it, it, there are a lot of children's books that define emotions, have kind of commanding image, a main theme, um, and, and, you know, fire, fire stations are cool, so, so that probably even features in some other books that are talking about emotions, probably not in this exact same way, but again, it's sort of how, you know, what makes your book stand above, you know, a thousand other books that, you know, and some of it is just thinking about, hey, how can, you know, you bring something new to the table or bring these types of things in, and obviously, like, you know, I'm on the second stanza, so this is a grain of salt, but, but again... This does feel to be, um, you know, I, I think the, the lines are nice, you know, but it does feel like it's executing along the same kind of uh, roadmap that a lot of these other books um, use. This feels, you know, very consistent to other children's books I've read. Are there ways to make, you know, this really unique? to your theme and vision, right? Because you're writing this for a reason, you know? I think, like, and obviously, it's because, I mean, like, everybody writes, or at least for the most part, because they really care about communicating something to the audience. And so the one thing I always encourage is, are there any different tools that would get your message across better than kind of the standard children's book roadmap? Not certain, but it is something I would encourage you know, considering. Then one day I made something bigger, taller, and amazing. I was having fun. I made something. And suddenly it came crashing down. I was having fun feeling it, and suddenly it came down. So again, like, uh, like, so I'm guessing this is again. I don't have the art notes, which oh, I've I've read a few children's books from like this this author and publisher, and you guys gotta start using art notes, <laughs> please. It's so like, and, and you can look at the previous edits I've done for this children's publisher if you want to see an example of art notes, uh, because I've pulled them up, demoed them. And I, just like I did now with Notion, which is like more product oriented than than the actual children's book, but I can't um, I can't express enough your your the importance of, of this. It's it's so important to have your vision as a writer for the arts, even if you're not drawing them and you're sending it to somebody else, or you already have someone that's done some stuff. Um, but I'm assuming this is like in a classroom. The only the other thing I would think about is like, you know, it seems to fall on its own. Whatever you know, this you know, uh, bigger thing is. I mean, because at first I thought it was referencing the fire station, but I don't think it is. Um, but it's certain first thing the song's own, you know. But having you know another character that doesn't have as good of a fire station in their heart knock it over could be something to consider right like you know saying because it's the conflict between characters is always going to be generally more interesting even at this level than con conflict between a human and the environment or a human and nature or the human and fate, you know, um, because, you know, once you have two humans in a situation, kind of it's an exponential curve of, and the more people you get in, it's an exponential curve of, hey, there are choosing people, there are, there are two different sets of emotions now that are getting 
and that are bringing brought together rather than one set of emotions that you know is, is bumping into hey you know their their stuff fell down or what what have you then all at once my cheeks turn red it's burning hot inside my head i feel anger inside of me it's hard to think it's hard to see um da -da 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 -da. then all at once my cheeks turn red yeah i mean there's so again you kind of have like structured meter on these but then in these top ones the meter is not as strong right there's a fire station inside of me right like you know if you want it to be more meter, the fire station inside of me sits below my shoulders and above my knee you know whatever that whatever gets that meter i don't think it's like super important because it is a kid's book and like you know meter is flexible but if you really are you know that's something to, to that is something just to think about it's it's noticeable to me that like the meter is kind of shifting and, and while there is kind of a rhyme scheme mini heart parked uh clean machines prepared scared something amazing sort of a rhyme proud down so just you know i would i i would do just kind of that poetry pass right where um this is on p4 uh consider doing a you know poetry pass on this project do the in stop lines you know match well you know you know does the you know rhythm work you know or do the differences you know express something right you know because because that's another opportunity too is when you do have a very um when you do have a very you know structured meter and a structured verse and all of a sudden it changes you know that that change can be really impactful right and and this kind of comes down to how can you make your story you know how can you make your children's book stand apart right and i know that you've read good night moon but one of the things they do is they do make these poetry level shifts in good night moon good night nobody like such a abrupt stop in the middle of that book but everybody for like you know quiet old lady whispering hush and da, 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 da. And, and you know they they build up this whole really strong poetic structure and then they subvert it uh, because that is a classic and i think for a very darn good reason because it's ridiculously well written <laughs> like it, it's it, it is it is a it is a deserved classic good night moon good night moon good night room and, and like the the varying of pace it's it's like you know that's just an amazing piece of writing right and then also the art's fantastic um the, and so it's one of those things to say hey you know i think every parent this side of the equator has read good night moon um but 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 you know think about it like you know let's say okay they're using different tools in her poetic meter when she wrote good night moon to really make things hit right like good night nobody boom like that that kind of has like a weird emotional beat and it adds a lot of mystery it adds a lot of like who is who's this nobody that's been here this whole time like right like it it, it does shake the story in a weird way and it, and it sounds you know kind of silly hyper analyzing a children's book but i do believe that there is enough meat there to 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 piece apart because it is a but but then how they change the meter you know like when it goes to the good nights you know so there's a kind of this beginning where we're there is a room and we're establishing this room and a quiet old lady whispering hush and then it gets so much quieter like just the way the words are getting expressed good night room good night moon da 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 da, -da. and so like all those kind of meter changes are, are happening at the level i don't think like honestly if, if i could do that i would but like it's really hard but I'm definitely going to encourage, you know, you know, and saying, hey, you know what, maybe maybe this isn't the draft where you have to worry about all that stuff. Valid. Right. But it is worth thinking and saying, hey, 
how can I make, you know, I am using Poetic Meter. I am using Rhyme. I am using Rhythm. I have these tools that I'm using as I'm making this project. Um, are there ways that I can subvert those tools? Are there other ways I can use them that will drive my point home? Always things worth thinking about. Um, whether or not you just say, hey, Jeff, you're wrong. No. It's hard to think. It's hard to see. Emergency. I scream and shout. Please help me put this fire out. So again, like we we do, we I like that there is kind of this structured meter, and then it kind of goes wild, right? Like that's that's nice. But then it kind of restructures here. So I I do like that there's this kind of wild section. So again, like you're doing that here, which I think is awesome. Page five, like that, you know, you're shifting, you know, the stanza structure based off the character's emotion. But consider, you know, rhyme, you know, adding rhyme. And, you know, why aren't these sounds more discordant? You know, back to the station, clang, 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 fire sheet shields, mobilize the gang. Da -da 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 -da. Like, you know, so <laughs> obviously I'm kind of tired and loopy because I do have my own child. So, you know, but, 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 but I would encourage thinking about that because, hey, like, you know, this is just an example. You might have a different goal as a writer. This is just something like to say, okay, you said, hey, I want to change my text size. I want to change my paragraph size or my stanza size to show that we're kind of in a thing and I'm capitalizing differently. I've kind of put, well, we've had some funny capitalization up here. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> but um, the question I would ask is, is, you know, why are we still, you know, sticking to this really, really tight meter, what, rhyme, rhyming meter, or sorry, uh, rhyme scheme? I scream and shout, please help me put this fire out. And same with the, 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 the rhythm. Uh, you know, are there ways you could break the meter that you set up here? Because you're kind of in this, like, iambic, you know, it's not necessarily always a, a then all at once my cheeks turn red. I have a quatrameter, sort of, sometimes. It's burning hot inside my head. Yeah. So this is, like, iambic quatrameter. This is, you know, I, you know, I paid attention in English class. Um, I'm just kidding. But, but all that to say, can you, I scream and shout. I like that. That's not, that's not four beats, right? But we're right back to it here. Please help me put this fire out. So, and then even this one is kind of, if you combine this in one line, emerge and see, I scream and shout. NW Country Girl, of all the times you wait, no worries, I recorded a video of your project um, and uh, of my review of it. And I will send it all to you um, soon. So, so thank you for stopping in. Don't worry though. I th I thought it was awesome. Great, great work. Um, and uh, and and I can always and, and I'll send a vod. That's what all the cool internet people say, right? Yeah. But again, so the, we're still in the same meter. We're still in the same rhyme scheme. Is there room to vary it there potentially? Um, back of the station, clang, clang, clang. The fire chief yells, mobilize the gang. Start the engines and strobe the lights. Truck speed out and heli takes flight. Is heli capitalized? I guess it's a proper noun for the name of the helicopter. Wee, 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 the sirens say. Don't worry, help is on the way. The fire chief arrives at the scene, directing with authority. He calls out through the megaphone. So again... I am kind of curious about how this ties to helping a kid get through anger, right? Because <laughs> let me tell you, as a parent, helping my kid learn to process his emotions. The beauty of the language. I thought you did a really good job. <laughs> you know, I, I always try to refrain from joking around too much with people's writing because I know it's very, very personal. So, so uh, you know, we'll... we'll you know, you can joke about me in my old age, which is very jokeable. But, but you know, I, I do want to say NW did a great job on your project. Um, yeah, and I think it is interesting. It's an interesting world you've built, and there's a lot to be proud of. Um, yeah, I think there are some tweaks to make or some things to think about. But um, overall, I think you do have a lot to be proud of with the project you've put together. And, um, yeah, well done. And same with this, right? Like, you know, I'm kind of zeroing in on a few things, but yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. 
I always just, whenever it comes to writing and editing, uh, just always want to be extra careful because it is such a personal thing, you know, like for, for myself, like, you know, I'm sure people have made jokes about my writing where I'm like, that's really funny. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, I, I, I get bummed out later. Right. You know, when I'm like alone in the shower, weeping heavily, heavily, heavily weeping. And so, you know, obviously I'm trying to be, you know, um, you know, so, so don't worry. I've done this. Like it's not, nothing to beat yourself up about, but it's always just, uh, you know, when in doubt, you can just call me old to try to be able to laugh at myself. Okay, good, good. But well, I, that makes one of us because you know I'm I'm a, I'm a sensitive final boss when it comes to my writing. Um, we have back at the station, clang, clang, clang. Fire the chief yells, mobilize the gang, start the engines and strobe the lights. Truck speed out and heli takes flight. But yeah, so so in this, it's sort of like this is cool, right? Like kids love fire stations, they love fire trucks. Like it's something like drilled into like the dna of humanity like i don't know like even my like infant when a fire truck would come around they'd be like oh my gosh you know that's amazing you don't even know that you're crying feels bad i know it's true it's the best kind of cry no one knows not even yourself but it hurts so good um but yeah but I i'm looking for ways you know and obviously you know, the books that I read about anger to my kids, and, and this is obviously like I'm one member of your audience, of your potential target audience. So my opinion is just that. Might not represent the actual best thing for this book. But one thing to think about is, you know, the books that I read about anger and about managing emotions to my kids generally like kind of walk through techniques. And if they do have a commanding image, it's sort of paralleling the tools a child should use to kind of manage their health. Wee -oo, wee -oo, the sirens say, I take deep breaths. I'll be okay. You know, like that type of stuff can, you know, and obviously that might not be what you're looking to do, but, but like, yeah, like telling the kid to pause, to breathe, to like go to their quiet place, like those types of things is like really, really, really helpful. And, and so to some degree, you know, this you know, can speak to a wider audience and have even more impact, the more your kind of commanding image of this project factors in and actually can can give some of those tools and techniques. So that's something I would encourage to think about here. Uh, so I'll do P six, I think. Paragraph six, stanza six, whatever. Um, paragraph is easier to, to, for me to say, I guess. Um... I like this image, but I wonder, you know, if it can relate to some of the techniques a an angry child child would use to calm down. Like we you The sirens say, I breathe in and out. I'll be okay, you know, whatever it may be, right? That's just an example, but, but sort of just like, you know, how can you weave in those tools that a kid just doesn't have, right? To manage emotion, manage how they feel. We're charging you thousands. I hope you pay. Yeah, that's that's definitely the medical system. Yeah, that's a, the more depressing. Though I do wonder why there are not more. As a parent, there are some kind of um, satire children's books, right? Like there's like the Darth Vader is a dad, which is kind of a, a lighthearted one, and there's like go the f word to sleep, which is maybe a little bit more, um, <laughs> a little bit more weird, uh, in, in terms of like kind of these these fun children's books. But I do think there's a lot of room for, and that that kind of goes back to my earlier point about so many children's books follow the same or follow this very very consistent track, and yeah, like f for some of those books, I do believe that for their theme, for their goals as a writer, that track is the best way 
to uh, to communicate that theme and to communicate those goals but for other themes and other goals you know i do wonder if there is opportunity for writers to say hey maybe if i you know try something a little bit different um i own the you own the audiobook for go the go the effort to sleep yeah i mean i think that's just more written for adults right but 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 you know i would read more you know <laughs> Oh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the Samuel L. Jackson one is probably the like the, 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 the like the, the gold standard of <laughs> the gold standard of that. Fire Chief arrives at the scene directing with authority. He calls out through the megaphone, everyone to the safety zone. He takes my hand and wipes my face. He leads me to a calming place. Okay, so I see that coming in and my guess is that the art is going to matter here because i'm guessing like the fire chief is a mother or a caregiver or a nanny or you know or, or somebody who's or, or or like some some person at daycare you know who's helping guide the kid um so um that's good it's good to see to see you know the use of a quiet rest place for an angry kid to recharge but it's hard to envision whether this is a parent or a caregiver or if this is in the kid's imagination of you know the fire world the fire chief lines up the cones and says i'm here you're not alone It's his favorite word. But remember, you can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. That's true. You can dance if you want to. Pumper truck races to the site, connecting hoses left and right. So again, ladder truck is standing by to raise the hose up to the sky. And then I'll take the gauges inside the water pumping gauges. Cool water rushes out. Ah, it feels cool. So I'm guessing like this is a kid drinking water taking like a little break again like you know this is kind of tough to edit because it is without the art notes please start using art notes <laughs> the, the the publisher is um oh goodness um wildberry ink wildberry ink wildberry ink implement art notes with your writers please <laughs> um because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then there are no friends among. I mean, that's a classic. That's great. Um, but yes, I would beg, please, please use art notes, please. Um, so yeah, like this is interesting, but how does it relate to the frame scene? You know, is this a water fountain? bottle it also you know the fact that there's no antagonist kid you know leaves you know um makes me wonder what different tools a you know child should use when not just angry at a situation, but angry at someone for causing that situation. Yeah. <laughs> Use art notes or else boss will go crazy. It's true. I mean, that, that might already be, you know, yeah. I'm not, cr I, I think I might be getting to that phase of life where, you know, it's probably too late for me at this point, you know. My mind is shot. Uh, I'll, I'll blame the toddler though. That, uh, <laughs> the, the toddler in my life has 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 really been the the fracture from sanity. Um, fire helicopter takes the lead to help clear the smoke. Guaranteed. She helps me take a deep breath in. Count one to five. Okay, so we have breathing. That's awesome. So I'm guessing there's like a kid with like smoke coming out of her ears and like fire coming out of her mouth and like a helicopter's like spraying water in there i guess um but i mean i mean i mean you folks on on stream right you, you know this is 
more challenging to parse because because your art is half the story i mean these are this is a visual medium first just four more times and everything will be just fine so great job you know using breathing To help the smoke, she takes me to take a deep breath in, count one to five, then back again. Black smoke flies out, fresh air blows in, dark clouds begin within. Again, the big dark cloud, you probably could just cut that. Um, P9, that, that, because that, that's running too long, so I do think you need to find a reword. Side the water pumping gauges. Yeah, this last kind of leads me to, a, takes my hand and wipes my face, it leads me to a calming place. Aim the nozzle, check the gauges inside the water pump in gauges. Again, that's a little bit too close of a rhyme. That feels a little funky. Black smoke flies out. Fresh air blows in. The big dark cloud begins to thin. The dark cloud. My dark cloud begins to thin. Maybe it's my... I don't know, that just doesn't, you know... feel natural in the flow consider maybe you know my dark you know or something uh not sure but i need a second look here yeah i'm not certain what i would say the solution is <clears throat> Still here, but going to lurk mode way behind on words for my day. Yeah, yeah, hang in there, and good luck with your words. She just says four more times, then everything will just be fine. Who says? What that fire helicopter says? Is fire helicopter a she? Who is the, you know, she in she says? This fire helicopter, a she? Uh, if so, that needs to be established earlier in a clearer manner. Okay. Rescue engine is here at last to stop the fire and stop it fast. She drapes a big blue fire blanket on my back. It's nice. I like it. Yeah, rescue engine is here at last to stop the fire and stop it fast. She drapes the big blue fire blanket on my back. It's nice. I like it. Um, that I think probably needs another look. Um, P10. I think it's press percent of the tan. I'll just do on my back. Um, this doesn't, you know, flow in the same manner. Manner. As the rest of the stanza, consider rewriting. I'm ready now. I want a hug. I feel a squeeze that's filled with love. I feel it. I'm ready now. I want a hug. I feel a squeeze that's filled with love. The last few embers disappear. She says, you'll be okay, my dear. Man. Yeah, so again, we like switch the structure here. I guess it's that it's kind of returned to normalcy. Press on your heart and you'll feel it too. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out the structure here, right? Like, so we have no emergency is like the iambic quadrameter, four lines. Then emergency, and then it's kind of just blocky text. Essentially, like two, two lines essentially here, and then six lines. Then we have this four three two, four three two, four three two for like the recovery. And then we have two three two, and then six, then two maybe is that or is that eight? 
Can't tell because of the page break. 6, 2, and 4. So essentially, we're trying to, like, it looks like we're trying to reverse this emergency thing, which is like 6, 2, and 4. Okay. That's fine. This one feels weird. This one doesn't feel like it belongs. If you're going to use that pattern. Yeah. What is it? Stands at 11? On my back, yes. Paragraph 11. This feels like it diverges from the, you know, par you know stanza structure you've been using. Yeah. Yeah, I'd keep it. I'd keep an eye on that. I, I, I actually. I mean, maybe I'm just. I mean, I, I am very OCD, so that could just be me being OCD. But, um, from my reading at least, it feels like you kind of diverge from your structure there. Maybe that's intentional. Um. It doesn't feel as organic, I would say, as some of the other divergences from structure that do feel organic, intentional, and stuff like that. Um, I'm ready now. I want to hug. Last few embers disappear. She says, "You'll be okay, my dear." And just as quickly as it came, the big red truck puts out the flame. Put out the flames. My heartbeat slows. My cheek cool down. I feel my feet touch solid ground. Thank you, fire crew. I say. Fire crew feels. I think it's 11. Um, yeah, I don't think we've used crew before in this. So, like, her suddenly referring to the fire crew, or the fire station as the fire crew feels a little weird. Fire chief, the gang, we have gang up there, but fire crew feels like it's a noun coming in a little bit too late. and doesn't feel like it's um, clear in the, in the way that it needs to be there. Um... Uh, all the friendly engines smile as they stay with me for a while. Then slowly they clean up their gear and load up ladders in the rear. Roll up poses nice and tight. All the tools packed up just right. Mm -hmm. Back to the station one by one. Good work today. The job is done. Mm. It's 12 plus 13 because I'm not sure if this is a six liner or what. Or an eight liner. I'm pretty sure it's a six and two though. All of friendly feels fine. Hmm. Lurking as well. Well, thanks for lurking, Coffee Quills, and best of luck to everybody on NaNoWriMo. Heck yeah. So excited for y'all. Hope it's going well. May your word count be plentiful. And all the things. And your creativity unbounded. May the muses visit your desk upon every hour. Yeah. Um, okay. Those are packed them right.
Yeah, I, I, maybe this is just my note, right? Like, y'all, you know, as the writer, it depends on your goals, what you're looking to accomplish. But my note here for these kind of this wrap-up sequence, it just doesn't feel very necessary. I don't know. Um, all the friendly angels smile. They stay with me for a while. And slowly come up. So it's just like, okay, they're packing up, you know. But we have kind of like two paragraphs on that, right? Or like two stanzas or one really long stanza. I think you just really need back to the station one by one. Good work today. The job is done. There's a fire station inside of me. I can handle any emergency. There's a fire station inside of you. Press on your heart and you'll feel it too. So is it like my beating heart is my fire station? I'm not super clear on that either. Um... Is like the heartbeat the fire people? Are you helping the kid measure, you know, heart rate to anger? Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, my overall thoughts, hmm. I mean, this is interesting, obviously, right? Because it's tough to. I mean, obviously, I like the rhyme, like the image, the main image, and the flow, like, you know, the the pacing, like, you know, the rhythm and rhyme. It's fun and, like, you know, delivered well. Um, I do feel like we only talk about anger. I'm angry, sad, or scared, right? Like, so we, we, in this one, we only talk about anger, which is this, number two. Yeah, I'll put this up here. I don't know if this is general, though. P2, we mention, you know, angry, sad, and scared as emotions, but the rest of the book only talks about anger. Um maybe show how you know fear and sadness mix in anger if you want to include this yeah that doesn't that doesn't feel 100 percent streamlined yeah um hmm I feel like the transition into then one day I made something amazing is also a little clunky. Um, P3. And then one day feels clunky. We were just talking about fire trucks in a general sense and we snap a specific scene you know maybe imply the scene by having her you know having the character show someone like you know show a sibling or fire truck talk to me you know so again like we go from this abstraction of like there's a fire station inside of me but we don't have it anchored in a place right there's not the, the the kid telling her friend or telling her parent so then when we jump into a real scene it's sort of jarring because we don't we have not been oriented in where we are we don't you know outside of the art which you know i'm gonna sound like a like a you know like a um, broken record but um but yeah so I, I would think about higher transitioning from these like general ideas about hey there's a fire station in me to Hey, today I made something amazing, right? Those are that's a jump, and, and I think just having that little and then one day is a way to do it. But I I I I do believe there might be a more effective way if you if you kind of revise and look a little bit harder in that particular section. You can probably find either a way to establish the scene higher up in that first paragraph, you know, in the art saying, hey, I think you know, she's telling her friend. You know, whatever that may be, or she's talking to me because at the end, she or he, whoever the speaker is, is talking to me. Press on your heart and you can feel it too. Um, 
so why not establish that earlier that might give you that license to kind of zoom in and out um, of the scene a little bit more seamlessly than we're than it than it than it comes through. Um, I like the fact like you give kids tools. You know, with breathing and, you know, break time, water. The the thing that I'm kind of curious about, though, uh, is, you know, you know, and this is uh, kind of a high level question, but it's sort of why this book? Why this? Why fire? Why, you know, why these particular details? Right. Because that's the question that I'm asking still. And it's like, why, why fire? Why these details? Why these questions? Uh, and why these techniques, right? Because, yes, because there is, as a parent, there is a plethora of books that talk through very similar techniques. Like we have one on our fridge. We have one in the living room if he's mad, you know, whatever. Wherever rage may strike. I have a book about rage for my child. <laughs> but, um... You know, that's something to think about. It's like, what, what's the different thing this is bringing to the table that those other books don't have? Is it a feeling of camaraderie with your own internal management systems? Like saying, oh, I have, I can self-control. And maybe, because, like, you know, I can do it. Like, you know, giving that kid the confidence that they can self-regulate, right? Is that the goal? Like, I, again, like, I don't know the goal and the fact that I don't know it should be concerning I think to the writer uh, because that in particular is not coming through the work quite yet at least in my reading and it was a pretty close reading <laughs> so so to my from my point of view right like so so I would really think about that what is the thing that 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 why this commanding image of fire truck like because right like a million books will tell a kid to like take a deep breath to sit down but what's going to make this book get through to a kid where another one doesn't right uh or a parent right uh answer you know keep pushing on answering the question what will make this book over any other you know you know is it the you know camaraderie between the kid and their self-regulation system that a fire station engenders that you know will help is it the you know cool you know it's like why this why why this right and i think that's the thing because it, it doesn't feel like it has that like direction because if for my reading if it really had this locked in direction everything would fit beneath it right like this structure would fit beneath it this this structure would fit beneath that heading of this is my theme you know, you can be friends with, you know, like maybe that is it. Like you can be friends with your self-regulation. You can be friends with yourself. It's okay to be mad, you know, whatever that may be. Um, You know, or or like you can tell other people about it. Like, because we have this, the, the thing in the end, you know, about, oh, I'm, you can share, you know, you can spread the, you know, good of self, you know, regulation to others so again a valid theme but then the whole story would be different and in, in a lot of ways right but 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 you kind of hinted that theme with this child explaining it to someone else at the end and you kind of hinted this camaraderie because um oh bigger taller you know like this whole station is prepared like they're my friends they're looking out for me um and that's awesome but because kind of these different things there's no real champion in terms of this is the message this is the the specific thing i'm telling someone that is different it this book 
or this the story so far does seem to drift into the overly general which sometimes can water down a project so that is something that i know it's like a bit of a, whoa, a freaky critique but I, I don't think you're far from i don't think it's going to be a lot of revision to get you there or to get this project there at least from my reading but i do think it is worth making those revisions and saying what is that single thing that i'm trying to communicate yes the techniques are important but what's the system they fit into what's the way of thinking about myself as a person with emotions that all this stuff fits into that will contextualize everything else i think because there's not a clear leader there's some hints at different things um but because there's not a clear leader this 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 project feels like it just displays a little bit too generally of a of a web and it doesn't for me at least in my reading feel like it captures me with something specific and personal which i think it very much can do um uh i'll say like you know oops the absence the absence of a you know really clear you know emotion or thematic beat makes this project feel a bit more general um and i think and i believe too general yeah yeah i mean i think about the the books that like my kid responds to right and it's like like the i love you forever book that's a really sad story the mom dies <laughs> like it's really sad and like you know and the, even the cat dies so he's like in the pictures right it's really bummer like you know like you know and it's sort of like this continuing of love beyond life like beyond the mom's life her love is still there because he's loving his daughter right that book hits like a truck and it's a children's book right like it doesn't doesn't mean because it's a children's book you have to water anything down like that book is is, is amazingly written and it's something that's just a, a huge thematic thing um and so something to think about right is to say that book knew exactly what it wanted to say that you can love someone so much that even after that person dies you keep loving them and that person keeps loving them and it's getting passed on that love just keeps going and so they they said that they knew what they wanted to say and i love you forever and they said it and in in in, in good night moon like that the 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 you know maybe it's not as much of a specific message as it is this kind of ambiance of mystery and night coming in that i don't get him in the other books right like this kind of slow drift into sleep it's much more experiential right so thinking about that am i delivering an experience am i delivering a theme what is this delivering and really orient Sorry, my headphones like to die. But really orienting the project around that emotion, theme, whatever that core heart is that you are delivering. Because I do feel like we're just sort of like, hey, manage your emotions. Be, do, you know, fire trucks are cool. Which is okay. Uh, and fire trucks are very cool. Like every child in, like ever is like fire trucks are awesome. But I do believe, like I, and I think there's, there's that extra heart in here that you can get out of this project but I do think that, that you know, it's, it might just take looking at it and, and, and building that emotional layer in or building that thematic feeling layer in. Not, I'm not quite certain. And maybe that's not your goals as a writer, which is totally okay, too. This is one random random person's opinion. So you can ignore me completely. And I think you will be right in doing so in some of the points I brought up. But um, hopefully this is just good data to feed into your revision process. Um, and I wish you the very best in your revisions. Great work on this project. I think you have a lot to be proud of with this project. I think this is awesome. Like, like you know, the reason I'm pushing is because I believe 
this project can be even better. You know, if the project was kind of like, oh, you know, whatever, you, know, you kind of just say, hey, great job, you know, uh, yeah, nice. But I do believe this project can step up and, and kind of have an extra layer to it. And I do believe, you know, because, you know, this is solid writing, really, really good execution. I and I think it can get there. So so yeah, you know, obviously, um, you know, still prioritize your goals as a writer. If anything I say doesn't align with your goals as a writer, ignore it. But hopefully that's good food for thought and it will help you as you go forward with with your revisions and and yeah, maybe there is a extra layer to this piece that is worth seeking out if you so desire. But overall, great work and good luck with your future writing.